And starting Larry Clark sends his field on the way in the first of nine on Friday night. From the outside, it's Credit is Magic gunning out of there for the early lead. Riverboat Spicy is second. Getting away in third, it's Billy Buxton, followed by Pull the Trigger, who's in fourth, gapped off about three now, is Tell the Heroes Go High, the trailer watching Marina. As it gets set to wheel by us now for the first time, it is Credit is Magic with the lead. Through the stretch for the first time, the opening quarter in 28 and four. And it is Credit is Magic, Travis Tracy with the lead of a length and a half. Riverboat Spicy sits second. Billy Buxton in third. Gapped off two is Pull the Trigger. Three further back now is Tell the Heroes Go High. Watching Marina the trailer, nine off the lead. Into the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. Credit is Magic controls the tempo. The half up, 59 and two. To the back stretch they go. Credit is Magic's got some separation now. Opens up by a little over two. Riverboat Spicy second now. Billy Buxton is pulled to the outside and advancing. Gapped off at two and a half is pull the trigger. Watching Marina until the heroes go high at the back. As they head towards the three quarter mark, Credit is Magic with a short lead. Billy Buxton no inching up on the outside. Riverboat Spicy saving ground at the pylons. Capped off two now is pull the trigger. Then there's a three length for the back to tell the heroes go high in watching Marina. Three quarters went 128 and four. Off the turn into the stretch. On the inside, credit is magic. On the outside, Billy Buxton. And here comes Dave Hudon with Riverboat Spicy up the lightning lane. And Riverboat Spicy will win it. Credit is magic second. Billy Buxton third. Pull the trigger fourth. In 157 and four. year old mare by Riverboat King out of Sugar Sugar. The breeder out of BC, James Dussange. Time on the board, 150. Into second, scratch the five, no superfecta wagering. And often pacing, more Monet leaves, Old Brown Trucks on the outside. At the pylons is Oscar the Grouch. From the outside now is Walk On By, Keep It Dirty is the early trailer. As they hit the turn, it is more Monet out there with a length and a quarter lead. Old Brown Trucks sits in second. It's a length and a quarter back now to Oscar the Grouch, who sits in third. Followed by Keep It Dirty and Walk On By is fifth. Opening quarter comes up in 28 and three. Through the stretch for the first time. And it is Moore Monet for Kelly Hort with the lead. Old Brown Truck tracks in second. Oscar the Grouch sits in third. Length and a quarterback is keep it dirty. Walk on by the trailer, six off the lead. To the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. And Moore Monet controlling the tempo. Old Brown Truck content to track in second. Followed by Oscar the Grouch in third, keep it dirty, and walk on by, no change in the order. Half up, 59 and three, 31, second quarter. As they march down the back stretch, as the rain now starts coming down here at Fraser Downs, more Monet, then it's Old Brown Truck. Followed by Oscar the Grouch, keep it dirty, walk on by. As they head to the three quarter mark, it's still more Monet with the lead. Past three quarters now, comes up on the board in 129 flat. And more Monet continues to lead it over Old Brown Truck, who's inching closer in second. Followed by Oscar the Grouch in third, keep it dirty and walk on by. Eighth of a mile from home, and it's more Monet with the lead. Down the lane they come, more Monet, Old Brown Truck on the inside, Oscar the Grouch. More Monet led them on a merry chase and will win it. Old Brown Truck settles for second. Oscar the Grouch, keep it dirty and walk on by. In 158 and two.
Moir Monet is a four-year-old gelding by captive audience out of Diga's Protégé. The breeder out of Surrey, B.C. is Susan Al. Initial placings, number one. And often pacing in the third from the pylons, LD's Contessa. From the center, there's Outlaw Gran Torino. Diva Amour gets away in third. Trying to get into the race early, there's Google Abro from the far outside. Down towards the inside now is Strange World in fifth. The two back markers as they hit the turn now are pickup sticks and custard or nothing. Through the stretch for the first time, opening quarter comes up in 28 and two. And as they wheel by us now, it is Brad Watt and Outlaw, Grand Torino with the lead. Now driving it up on the outside, here comes Diva Amour. Down towards the inside, LD's Contessa. Google the bros, tough trip tonight, been parked the whole journey. Down towards the inside is Strange World. Into the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. And Diva Amour with the lead now by a length. Outlaw Gran Torino sits in second. LD's Contessa third. At the pylons at Strange World. Park still on the outside is Google at Bro. Two back markers pick up sticks and custard or nothing. They went through the half in 58 and 1. As they march down the back stretch, it's Diva Amour with that lead. Diva Amour leads it over. Outlaw Gran Torino. LD's Contessa pops out of the three spot and is on the move. Also on the outside, Strange World down towards the pylons. We have pickup sticks. Three quarters up, 127 and four. Midway on the final turn, and Diva Amour continues to lead it. LD's Contessa trying to get closer on the outside. Down at the pylons, into the passing lane, will be Outlaw Gran Torino. And down the lane they come. Diva Amour, Outlaw Gran Torino, LD's Contessa, Diva Amour, Outlaw Gran Torino, five in a row, Diva Amour, Outlaw Gran Torino second, LD's Contessa third. I think it's pick up air by Custard the Dragon out of Art Amour. The breeders out of Kelowna, BC, the Surdale Farms Limited. Number two, Diva Amour, your race winner. Number three, Strange World, sixth. Number four, pick up sticks was fourth. Number five, Outlaw Gran Torino, second, six. And off and pacing in the fourth. From the far outside, Minicata Joe trying to gun out of there for the early lead. Trying to keep mid bay as they go to the turn. Speak dollars and cents. Then down towards the inside, getting away in third now is Are You Crazy? Followed by Catch Me Oliver. On the inside now is Buddyville. And Willie Rockets on the outside, the trailer. As they sweep by us now for the first time, Minicata Joe has the lead. 27 and four, the opening panel. And as they wheel by us now, now taking over, it's Are You Crazy for Scott Knight. He clears and leads it now by a length and a quarter. Minicata Joe sits in second, speak dollars and cents third. Buddyville starts it up on the outside. Catch me Oliver's at the pylons. And Willie Rocket, the trailer, he's now tipped to the outside. Into the clubhouse turn they go. And moving up on the outside is Buddyville to engage. Are you crazy? Minicata Joe sits patiently in third. Half 58 flat. To the back stretch they go. And on the outside, Buddyville now takes the short lead. Are you crazy? Second by a length and a quarter. Minicata Joe is third, about two and a half off the lead. Speak dollars and cents. Willie Rocket and Catch Me Oliver. 
as they march towards the three-quarter mark. It's Buddyville out there with a length and a quarter lead. Are you crazy, Minicata Joe? And speak dollars and cents. Three quarters up, 125 and three. As they get set to wheel for home, Buddyville has the lead and down the lane they come. It's Buddyville, are you crazy? Minicata Joe on the outside, speak dollars and cents. Buddyville drifting out a little bit, but Buddyville has the lead and Buddyville will win it by two. Minicata Joe I think is up for second. Three-way go for third. In one for the winner, Buddyville. And off and pacing in the fifth. Everyone's hero trying to gun out of there for the early lead. LD's boss trying to hold it at bay. Down on the inside now is Jolton Joe. Radar and force is hung on the outside in the early going. Then it's back to a little bit of custard and Sammy Santana. As it gets set to sweep by us now for the first time with the lead, it's everyone's hero. And through the stretch, the opening quarter, a contested 27 and one. Everyone's hero has the lead from a hung out radar enforced length and a quarterback now is LD's box, followed by Jolt Joe, little bit of Custer and Sammy Santana. As they go to the clubhouse turn and the half mile station, radar enforced now crosses over as he clears and leads it by a length and a half. Everyone's hero sits in second by two. Going along in third, LD's boss, followed by Jolton Joe, half up at 55 and four. As they march on the backstretch, Radar and Force has now extended the lead and opens up by three. Everyone's hero second by two. LD's boss third, Jolton Joe is fourth, followed by a little bit of custard and Sammy Santana. As they head towards the three quarter mark, Radar and Force in complete control, three quarters. 124 flat, they're midway on the final turn. Radar enforced by three. Everyone's hero, LD's boss, Jolton Joe, little bit of custard, Sammy Santana, as they wheel for home, it's Brad Watt with Radar enforced out there now with a two and a half, three length lead. Trying to hold second, everyone's hero, LD's boss on the outside, Jolton Joe. Radar enforced wins it handily. Everyone's hero second, Jolton Joe third. LD's boss, fourth. Thanks, guys. The pick four. And off and pacing in the sixth. Firing it up early, there goes Sunset Rider. Chasing Bismarck, trying to keep him at bay. From the far outside, Major Winker's got a good spot. He'll land in front of Light My Shadow. Two back markers, Jet Juice, and Chase Me Forever. They're on the turn, and now coming away with the lead, it is Sunset Rider taking the two-hole trip as Chasing Bismarck as they wheel by us now for the first time. Opening quarter, 27 and four. As they flash by us now for the first time, Sunset Rider shows the way by a length and a half, but here comes Kelly Hort and Light My Shadow driving it up on the outside. Chasing Bismarck in third, Major Winker is fourth, Jet Juice is fifth, 
sixth, Chase Me Forever. As they go to the clubhouse turn and the half mile station, Sunset Rider doing battle with Light My Shadow. They'll pass the half now in 57 flat. As they get set to turn for the back stretch, Sunset Rider on the inside and Light My Shadow now pops ahead in front. Perfect trip on the inside for Chasing Bismarck. Length and a half back to the outer flow. There goes Jet Juice on the inside now. Major Winker shuffled back and the trailer chased me forever. As they head towards the three quarter mark, Light My Shadow has cleared, leads it now by a half. Popping out of that perfect trip. Here comes Chasing Bismarck up on the outside. Sunset Rider at the pylons and on the outside Jet Juice. Three quarters, 125 and two. As they get set to wheel for home, Light My Shadow on the inside, Chasing Bismarck on the outside, and down the lane they come. Light My Shadow, Chasing Bismarck, Major Winkers deep in the passing lane. Chasing Bismarck has now grabbed the lead. Chasing Bismarck to win it, Light My Shadow second. It'll be Sunset Rider third, very close for Mark White. Winning driver, Dennis Johnston. Chasing Bismarck is a six-year-old gelding by Mystery Chase out of Cheyenne J. The Breeders reads down 132, 654. Time for the mile, 155 and 2. And off and pacing in the seventh. A wall of horses trying to gain the top advantage as they go to the turn. Pure for Mr. Toffee emerges. And pure for Mr. Toffee leads it now by a neck. Moving up on the outside is one tough beach boy. Gapped off two now on the inside is my little ginger man. On the outside is Bay Street Buddy as they get set to wheel by us down for the first time. Through the stretch now with one tough beach boy showing the way. Down on the inside, racing along in second is pure for Mr. Tuffy. Tough trip tonight for Bay Street Buddy, hung on the outside. My little ginger man gapped off is Chuck U. Farley. Then we come back to as they go to the turn, Jules Dragon. Into the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. Then outlaw Duke Worthy, trailer Joe DiMaggio. As they go by the half, the half comes up in 56 flat. That opening quarter was 26 and four. As they march down the back stretch, it's one tough beach boy showing the way from a hung out Bay Street buddy. Down on the inside, pure for Mr. Tuffy. Then it's back to my little ginger man. To the outside, Chuck U. Farley, Jewels Dragon. Then it's Outlaw Duke Worthy and Joe DiMaggio. As they race into the far turn, three quarters, 124 and one. And it is one tough beach boy still with the lead. On the inside now, it's pure for Mr. Toffee, Bay Street Buddy, and my little ginger man. And down the lane they come. It is one tough beach boy with the lead, but pressing on the outside. Here's pure for Mr. Toffee. Pure for Mr. Toffee with the lead. My little ginger man second. Looks like Joe DiMaggio might be up for third. Photo there in 153 and four. Miss Tracy, the winning driver, Blaine Chapel. Pure for Mr. Toffee, an 11 year old gelding by Valid Victory at a pure form beach. The result official 4 1 exam. The 3 and 4. Number 8, Jules Dragon. Finished with broken equipment.
Catch. Gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the eight. Joe Rich from the pylons, quick off the wings to grab an early lead, but putting pressure on is, it'll be fine. Slipping up the inside now there, Sunshine Boy taking a seat will be Army Captain Hanover. Gapped off two now as they hit the turn, is brace for impact. Then it's two further back now to Mock Steady Rum and Raisins and Bad Moon Horizon. They are now in single file as they sweep by us opening quarter in 27 and one. And it'll be fine, has the lead, but here comes Scott Knight with Sunshine Boy driving up on the outside. Joe Rich settles in third. Army Captain Hanover is still fourth. Brace for impact, Mock Steady, Rum and Raisins, and Bad Moon Horizon to the clubhouse turn they go. Sunshine Boy with the lead. Leads it now by a length and a half. It'll be fine in second. Joe Rich is third. They went through the half in 56 and two. To the back stretch they go. Sunshine Boy with the lead by a length and a half. It'll be fine, sits second. Army Captain Hanover starts his journey up on the outside. Joe Rich is at the pylons. Gapped off two and a half now. Is braced for impact. Mock steady, rum and raisins, bad moon horizon. They've reached the far turn, three quarters up. 123 and three. And Sunshine Boy continues to lead it, but pressure coming on the outside from Army Captain Hanover. It'll be fine as third. They're off the turn into the stretch. And Sunshine Boy with a short lead. But Army Captain Hanover is still moving up on the outside to engage. Sunshine Boy, Army Captain Hanover. Army Captain Hanover with the lead. Sunshine Boy settles for second. Joe Rich is third. It'll be fine fourth. It'll be a photo for fifth for that super high for an eight-year-old gelding by Captain Treacherous out of All-American Co-Ed. The Breeders out of Pennsylvania, the Hanover Shoe Farms for one. Six, eight, five, seven, and two. Time for the mile. Life mark for the winner, 151 and three. Race nine. And off and pacing in the finale from the pylons. Nothing in moderation. Zips out for the early lead. It will be moving up on the outside now. There all Kent's down towards the inside is as they hit the turn, money bags. And now forging to the front. They're all Kent's. They're all Kent's for Dave Hudon. Takes command. Nothing in moderation will go in the two old trip. Length and a half back now. It's money bags who sits in third. Gapped up to his alligator in fourth. Followed by McMoney in fifth, opening quarter 28 and three. As they wheel by us now, nothing to moderation, wants the top, and Scott Knight will now drive on into the lead. There all Kent's yields for second. Moneybags is third, Alligator fourth. Followed by McMoney in fifth, Baron's Weapon sixth, seventh, Chief is boss. Chief is boss about nine off the lead. Into the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. And nothing in moderation with the lead. Two old trip now for they're all Kent's. Moneybag sits in third, Alligator fourth. No movement yet, followed by McMoney. Half one up in a minute and one fifth. Slowed it down. As they head down the back stretch, nothing in moderation over they're all Kent's. Moneybags now, Alligator is tipped to the outside. Moving up along the inside now is McMoney. Then down towards the inside, we have Baron's weapon and Chief is boss. To the far turn they go, three quarters, 129 and three. Nothing in moderation, continues to lead it. They're all Kent's. Driving up on the outside now is Moneybags as they wheel for home. Nothing in moderation, comes home now with a length and a half lead. They're all Kent's, dives to the passing lane. Far outside Moneybags, in between them Baron's weapon. 
deep stretch. Nothing in moderation will win the nightcap. They're all Kent second. It'll be money bags third. Sixth, they're all Kent second. Number seven, Chief is boss. Sixth, number eight, McMoney was fifth. Reads down, one, three, seven. Scratch. Billy Williams and Don Lupo are here with you because we like you. Hopefully you like us as we get into another Fraser Thursday night and Bailey, another nine races tonight. Uh, Fraser Downs, the gift that just keeps giving. we got nine races. We're kicking it off with three maiden events. I think they're going to be very exciting, but I did steer away from them as far as my advising on handicapping. I think I'll leave that to some of you to study those superfectas. There's a lot of play there. Make them work. Make them work for it. I'm waiting to race number four, where I'm going to do a $10 exactor. Number one, Vintage Last is who I'm putting on top. This filly does very well on the inside. Cody Easton, noteworthy there. 57% win average coming Ooh. in to tonight's card. This horse has really found her stride as of late as well. Didn't like being in behind Kelly Hort, pulled her out early, two starts back, got the lead, didn't look back. Can look for similar advantage here coming right off the start. And I'm going to go with number six, Martini, please, second. Alan Malloy, as I mentioned before the season even started, very high percentage driver. It's his second attempt with this filly, so I'm going to go $10 exacto, one with six. The Rod Therese Barn certainly rolling on all cylinders. Another play for us. We have to have a knuckle. Yes, so for anybody local playing the handicapping contest, I'm sticking around for race number nine, a $5 win place show bet on the trailing eight horse, Million Reasons. Really liked this horse last time. Didn't have an ideal trip. Got uh, chased down late, but I do think that the trailing hole will be getting this horse right back on her winning ways. So I'm going $5 win place show on million reasons. That's a fabulous race. It's a field of 5,000 claimers, but I tell you what, it's tough. Yes, and they all love to win. You know, Beach Mist was really kicking it off hard here for Kelly Hort. So I think it's going to be an exciting race and I'm going to the trail and eight hole. Lots of reasons to play Fraser Downs, contentious races all night long. The payoffs should be good. Best of luck. Post time is seven o'clock.
Pleasant good evening, everyone, and welcome to Racing from Fraser Downs at Elements Casino. Track condition at present as listed by the judges is track fast. Special welcome to everyone joining us for our Thursday night card. Now please turn to your official programs for this evening's corrections and changes. In the opener, once again, please note it's seven on the gate, the eight's a trailer. There is an equipment change in on the seven, as noted on your TV monitors. Race two, scratch the six, catch me on top. Race two, scratch the six. Race three, scratch the also number nine, Tahuya Ideal. Race four kicks off the classic pick five. The carryover is $1,437. It is not a jackpot wager. Race five is a clean board, no changes. Race six kicks off the pick four. Seven on the gate, the eight's a trailer. Race seven has no changes. In the eighth, super high five wagering, no carryover. Scratch the seven, Western Summit. The nine does not draw in. An equipment change in on the eight. And then the ninth, scratch the eight, million reasons. Race nine, scratch the eight, million reasons. Those are all the changes and corrections to the present time. At this time, just a reminder, please make your wagers as early as possible. We continue on this evening with our Fraser Downs Handicapping Contest. It'll take place every Thursday in the home stretch here at Elements Casino. It is free to play. See Bailey Williams in the home stretch for your free entry ballot. Also, Friday nights continue with our Friday night buffet at the races throughout March. First race, 7 p.m., $29.99, includes a $10 wagering voucher, courtesy of BC Racebook. And on Sundays, it is our brunch buffet in the home stretch. $34.99 gets you a complimentary gift and the fixins, as well as a complimentary gift. That's every Sunday in March, April. And May, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also this time, just a couple of casino notes. New Encore member sign-ups can get up to $25 in free play until March 31st. Don't forget we have the Petal Flower Slot Tournament. Earn 500 points by playing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Top prize, $1,000. Spring Cash Fever is underway. Earn 500 points by playing or win a jackpot and get a ballot. Draws take place every Saturday from March 31st through April 27th. Thank you for your attention and good luck. At this time, just a reminder, live racing does continue. Even though it is the Good Friday holiday tomorrow, it's evening racing here at the Downs. First race, 7 p.m.
The Pacers on the track. Fraser Downs for the opener. Field of eight. First half of the double exactor. Try and superfect. A wagering post time shortly. Here's your field number one. Bristol and Paris. Owned by Diana Davey with Dave Hudon training and driving. Number two, I'm a fireball. Owned by Leslie Godlin, Rick Lancaster, and Tom Wood. Rick Lancaster trains. Dennis Johnston driving. Three, surprise my shadow. Owned by Kevin Hengen, trained by Gary Shedlowski, John Abbott aboard. Four, Master of Liberty, owned by Mark White and Brian Hibbs. Mark White trains Kelly Hortz in the bike. Five, Tahuya Silk, owned and trained by Eric Nyhart. Robert Scranage the third to drive. Six, Heaven's Wind. On by Rod Hennessy, trained and driven by Tyson Jacoby. Seven, Outlaw Cowgirl Up. On by the Outlaw Stable, trained by Connie Coltammer with Blaine Chapel. Trailing eight hole to Lou Valley, on by Elise Robottom, trained and driven by Travis Tracy. Three minutes to post time. Only two minutes left to place your wagers, said Fraser Downs.
rings are out. Starters called for the horses to line up. Starting gate now moving. Opening race on a Thursday card, field of eight, seven score, eight trails. It's Bristol and Paris, I'm a fireball. Surprise my shadow, master of liberty, to who you silk. Heaven's Wind, Outlaw, Cowgirl Up, and Lou Valley. Fields into the box rash, gate picks up speed. And starter Larry Clark sends his field on their way in the first of nine on Thursday night. And firing it up early, there goes Surprise My Shadow for the early lead. It is Bristol in Paris who gets away in second. Length and a half back is I'm a Fireball in third. Far back making a break before the start was Outlaw, Cowgirl up. They're on the turn now and it is Surprise My Shadow with the lead of a length and a half. Bristol in Paris, second by two and a half. Going along in third, I'm a fireball fourth as Master of Liberty. To Huya Silk, Heaven's Wind, and Lou Valley. 38 flat, the opening panel. As they wheel by us now, it is John Abbott and Surprise My Shadow with the lead. Dave Hudon in Bristol and Paris sits second. I'm a fireball third. Master of Liberty gets away in fourth. Lou Valley is fifth. Gapped up two to Huya Silk. Then Heaven's Wind and far back is Outlaw. Cowgirl up as they go to the clubhouse turn and to the half mile station. And surprise, my shadow controls the tempo. The half up, 102 and one, 32 and one second quarter. And as they march down the back stretch, it is surprise, my shadow continuing to lead it. Bristol in Paris still sitting chilly in second. I'm a fireball goes along in third. Blue Valley's first up on the outside, down on the inside, master of liberty. Then it's back to Tahuya Silk, Heaven's Wind, an outlaw, cowgirl up. Past the three quarters they go in 132 and one. That's a 32nd third quarter. Midway on the turn now and surprise my shadow opens up by two and a half. Moving up on the outside is I'm a fireball. Bristol and Paris at the pylons and down the lane they come. Surprise my shadow is clear by two and a half. Master of Liberty shakes loose on the outside. Surprise my shadow, surprise my shadow will win it. Very tight for second. Down in the passing lane, Bristol and Paris on the outside, I'm a fireball. Master of Liberty was fourth, 202 and two. Unofficial winner number two, I'm a fireball. Photo for second. As well, the judges have posted the inquiry sign. They are reviewing number seven outlaw cowgirl up who made a break before the start. Judges review into the start. In the photo for second, number two, I'm a fireball, is second. Number one, Bristol and Paris, third. Number four, Master of Liberty, was fourth. Three, two, one, four. Unofficial on the board. A judge's review into the start. Hold all tickets.
In the winner's enclosure, the winner of the opener, number three, Surprise My Shadow. She's owned by Kevin Hengen, trained by Gary Shedlowski, the winning driver, John Abbott. Surprise My Shadow, a three-year-old filly by Living It Up, out of shadow play. The breeders, Michelle Denroth and Alan Frescicini. Please note after review, the judges are ordering a refund on number seven, Outlaw Cowgirl Up. This horse did not make the fair start pole or the fair starting line. So a full refund on the seven, Outlaw Cowgirl Up. The result is now official. 3 2 1 4 with a refund on the 7. The exactor was worth four dollars seventy cents. Three two one try was twenty five ninety five. Twenty cents super ten dollars sixty six cents. Official placings number one Bristol and Paris third, number two I'm a fireball second. Number three, Surprise My Shadow, your race winner. Four, Master of Liberty was fourth. Five, Tahuya Silk, fifth. Six, Heaven's Wind was seventh. Number seven, Outlaw Cowgirl up, eighth with a refund. And number eight, Lou Valley, sixth. Reads down three, two, one, four, five, seven, eight, six. Time for the mile, 202 and two. Once again, a complete refund on the seven. Outlaw, Cowgirl up. Race two, scratch the six.
The Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs, race number two. It's a field of seven now, scratch the six. Here's your field number one, Senorita Draco, owned by the JJJ Stables, Jim Marino and Paul Sanders. Jim Marino trains with Scott Knight driving. Number two, Cheyenne Acero J, owned by Brian Hibbs, trained by Mark White and Kelly Hortz aboard. Number three is Diamond of Acero, owned by Sandra Roberts and Donna Cunningham. Donna Cunningham trains Dennis Johnston aboard. Four, Got Sugar, owned by Terry Kaufman, trained and driven by Terry Kaufman. Five, Beyond the Horizon, owned by Mark Abbott, trained by Gord Abbott, and John Abbott drives. Seven, Dally Dancer, owned by the Wild Dune Stable and RT Enterprises Limited. Rick Lancaster trains with Tyson Jacoby aboard. And number eight, Wednesday's Child, owned by Jennifer Dodsworth and Randy Rutledge. Randy Rutledge trains Alan Malloy's in the bike. Three minutes to post time. Less than two minutes to post time at Fraser Downs.
Start it called for the horses to line up. Race two, starting game moving. Field of seven for race two, scratch the six. It's Senorita Draco, Cheyenne Acero, J. Diamond of Acero, Got Sugar, your three to five choice. Beyond the Horizon, Dally Dancer on the outside. And Wednesday's Child from the trailing eight hole. Fields into the box stretch, gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the second from the pylon, Senorita Draco, and now Got Sugar is moving in to take away the lead. From the far outside, there's Dally Dancer hunting for a spot. As they hit the turn, Got Sugar comes away with the lead. On the inside, Senorita Draco, second by three quarters of a length. Dally Dancer parked on the outside. Length and a half for the back now is Wednesday's Child. On a break was Dally Dancer who was guided to the outside. Then it's Cheyenne Acero J, Diamond of Acero, and Beyond the Horizon. 28 and four, the opening panel. Through the stretch for the first time with one lap to go. And Terry Kaufman has got Sugar on the lead. Senorita Draco tracks in second. Gapped off two and a half now is Wednesday's Child in third, followed by Cheyenne Acero J in fourth. Into the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. And it is Got Sugar with the lead. The half comes up, 59 and four, 31 second quarter. As they head down the back stretch, it is Got Sugar over Senorita Draco. They've opened up four now on Wednesday's Child who sits in third. Length and a half back now is Cheyenne Acero J. Then three further back. On the inside, we have Diamond of Acero. On the outside is Beyond the Horizon, Dally Dancer the trailer. Past three quarters now in 129 and three. And they're midway on the turn with Got Sugar continuing to lead it and continuing to track in second is Senorita Draco. Wednesday's child is third as they turn for home. Got Sugar, Senorita Draco now pops out of the two hole and down the lane they come. Got Sugar, Senorita Draco. Wednesday's child through the passing lane. But Terry Kaufman's got the measured. Got Sugar will win it. Wednesday's child second. Senorita Draco third. Cheyenne Acero J was fourth. 159 and one. Unofficial winner, number one, Got Sugar. Second, number eight, Wednesday's Child. Third, number one, Senorita Draco. And fourth, number two, Cheyenne Acero J. Four, eight, one, and two.
Back to the winner's enclosure. The winner of race two, number four, Got Sugar. She's owned by Terry Kaufman. Trained and driven to victory by Terry Kaufman. Got Sugar is a three-year-old filly by Odds On Equalus. Out of eight, she a sweetie. The breeder's out of Florida. The Odds On Nuru. Time on the board. Now a life mark for the winner, 159 and 1. A result official. Four eight exacta was twenty two fifty. Four eight one try seventy one seventy five. Twenty cent super was fifty eight forty three. The double seven twenty. Official placings, number one, Senorita Draco, third. Number two, Cheyenne Acero J, fourth. Number three, Diamond of Acero, fifth. Number four, Got Sugar, your race winner. Number five, Beyond the Horizon was sixth. Scratch the six. Seven, Dally Dancer was seventh. Eight, Wednesday's Child, second. Reads down three, four, five. One, six, Scratch, seven and two. Time for the mile, 159 and one. Race three, scratch the nine.
The Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs for race number three. Field of eight. Here's your field, number one, Better Than Luck. Owned by Paul Sanders, Jim Marino trains with Kelly Hort driving. Two, Ace 44 Zeus, owned, trained, and driven by John Hudon. Three, It's Time Iceman, owned, trained, and driven by Clint Warrington. Four, Holiday Shadow. Owned by Leslie Godlin, Tom Wood, the Wild Dune Stable. Rick Lancaster trains. Dennis Johnston in the bike. Five, Blunders Thunder. Owned by Jennifer Dodsworth, Randy Rutledge. Randy Rutledge trains. John Abbott to con at the controls. Number six is Outlaw Tough Enough. Owned by the Outlaw Stable. Sam Robinson trains. Tyson Jacoby aboard. Seven, Talladega. Owned by Diana Davy, Dave Hudon trains and drives. Trailing eight hole is phone 911. Owned by the JJJ Stables, Jim Marino and Paul Sanders. Jim Marino trains, Scott Knight in the bike. Three minutes to post time.
Start a call for the horses to line up race three. Starting game moving. Field of nine lining up. It's better than luck. Ace 44 Zeus. It's time Iceman. First time starter Holiday Shadow. Blunders Thunder. Outlaw Tough Enough. Talladega trailing eight hole. It's phone 911. This field is into the back stretch. The gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the third. Trying to fire it up from the far outside. There goes Talladega surfing for the early lead. Down towards the inside, Holiday Shadow. Getting away in third now is Blunders Thunder. Down towards the inside in fourth is Better Than Luck. Parked on the outside and nearly going is Outlaw Tough Enough. As they get set to wheel by us now for the first time, the opening quarter comes up on the board in 28 and one. And through the stretch for the first time, and it is Talladega out there with a two and a half length lead. Holiday Shadow sits in second. Third belongs to Thunder's Blunder. Then better than luck. Phone 911. Ace 44 Zeus. Tough trip tonight for Outlaw. Tough enough. Who's hung on the outside? As they go to the clubhouse turn and to the half mile mark and the trailer on the inside, it's time Iceman. As they roll past the half mile, it comes up in a minute flat. To the back stretch they go, and Talladega has that lead now by two. Holiday Shadow will sit in second. First up on the outside, here comes Blunders Thunder, followed by Better Than Luck. On a break was Ace 44 Zeus. As they march towards the three quarter mark, Talladega still leads it now by a length and a half, with Blunders Thunder sitting in second. On the outside, Better Than Luck in third. Then it's Holiday Shadow in fourth. Moving up on the outside is phone 911. Two lengths back, it's time Iceman and Outlaw Tough Enough. Three quarters went up 129 and four. They've reached the top of the lane. They're homeward bound with Talladega with the lead. And down the lane they come, Talladega, but being attacked by Better Than Luck on the outside. Blunders Thunder through the passing lane. Phone 911 deep on the track. They hit the wire. It might be Blunders Thunder over Talladega right there. Phone 911 and better than luck. 159 and 2. Photo sign will be posted. Hold all tickets. In the photo number five, Blunders Thunder, the unofficial winner. On the far outside, the eight, phone 911, gets second. Number seven, Talladega third. And number one, better than luck, fourth. Five, eight, seven, one, on the board, unofficial.
The result official, 5-8 exacta, was 34-35. The try, $981.30. 20 cent super, 5871, $984.71. Official placings, number one, better than luck, fourth. Number two, ace, 44, Zeus, sixth. Number three, it's time, Iceman, fifth. Number four, holiday shadow, seventh. Number five, blunders, thunder, your race winner. Number six, outlaw, tough enough, was eighth. Number seven, Talladega, was third. And number eight, phone, 911, second. Raids down, four, six, five, seven, one, eight, three, and two. Time for the mile, 159 and two. Race four kicks off the classic pick five. Carry overs fourteen hundred thirty-seven dollars. There are no changes.
Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs, race number four. Here's your field, number one, Vintage Lass, owned by Cody Easton, trained by Cody Easton with Kelly Hort driving. Number two, Karma to get you, owned by Je and trained by Jeff Waltenberg with Dave Huron driving. Three, Stonebridge Fib, owned and trained by Sean Sinner, Travis Tracy up. Number four, Kahala Storm, owned by Ken Ng, Rick Lancaster trains, John Abbott aboard. Five, Tahuya Sweet Chloe. Owned by Eric Nyhart and Donna Scranage. Eric Nyhart trains. Robert Scranage the third drives. And the six, Martini Please. Owned by Rod Terrace, Blair Miller, Darren Edwards, and Ralph Terrace. Rod Terrace trains. Alan Malloy aboard. Three minutes to post time. Please note number two, Karma to get you. We'll be on the track momentarily. Please note number four, Kahala Storm has returned to the paddock for an equipment repair. Two minutes to post time at Fraser Downs, under two minutes.
Wings are out. Starters called for the horses to line up. Race four. Start off of our classic pick five with a carryover of $1,437. Field includes Vintage Last, Karma to Get You, Stonebridge Fib, Kahala Storm, Tahuya Sweet Chloe, and Martini Please. Field heads for the box rash. Gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the fourth. From the center, Kahala Storm trying to gun out of there for the early lead. As they go to the turn, now moving up on the outside, here's Tahuya Sweet Chloe. From the far outside is Martini Please, who will land in front of Vintage Last. Then two and a half lengths back as they hit the turn, Karma to get you with Stonebridge Fib the trailer. As they wheel by us now for the first time, it's Tahuya Sweet Chloe with that lead. Opening quarter, 28 and 2. Through the stretch for the first time, Tahuya Sweet Chloe leads it by just over a length. Kahala Storm sits in second. Martini pleases third. Length and a half for the back now. Vintage Lass in fourth. Karma to get you is fifth. The trailer Stonebridge Fib seven off the lead. To the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. And it's Tahuya Sweet Chloe with a short lead. Pressing up on the outside is Martini please. Kahala Storm rides the pylons in third. Length and a half back, Vintage Lass. Half a minute and three-fifths. As they race down the backstretch from the outside, Martini Please now takes the lead. Tahuya Sweet Chloe second by two. Kahala Storm is third. Vintage Lass is now tipped to the outside and is on the move. Karma to get you in Stonebridge fifth. Three quarters up, 129 and one. Paired off on the inside, Tahuya Sweet Chloe. Martini please on the outside. Vintage Lass only a length and a half off it. And at the pylons is Kahala Storm. Off the turn, into the stretch are homeward bound. And Martini please has the lead. But Vintage Lass has now just gone right on by. Vintage Lass, Martini please. Vintage Lass will win it. Martini please second, Tahuya Sweet Chloe third. Kahala Storm fourth. 158 and 4. Top four finishers in the fourth. Unofficial winner, number one, Vintage Lass. Number six, Martini, please, second. Five, Tahuya Sweet Chloe, third, four, Kahala Storm, fourth. One, six, five, four, unofficial.
Back to the winner's enclosure, the winner of race four, number one, Vintage Last. She's owned and trained by Cody Easton. The winning driver is Kelly Hort. Three wins in a row for this three-year-old filly by Vintage Master out of Judy's Last. The breeder out of Quinn LBC, Linda Atkinson. The result official. The exactor a dollar seventy. Try seven ninety. Twenty cent super two dollars and thirteen cents. Official placings, number one, Vintage Last, first. Number two, Karma to Get You, fifth. Number three, Stonebridge Fib, sixth. Number four, Kahala Storm, fourth. Number five, Tahuya Sweet Chloe, third. And number six, Martini Please, second. Reads down 156, 432. Time for the mile, 158 and four. Race five, no changes.
The Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs, race five, field of seven. Exactor, try and superfect a wagering. Here's your field. Number one, positively special. And by Leslie Godlin, Judy Knighton, Rick Lancaster trains, Dave Hitt on driving. To catch me gracefully, owned, trained, and driven by Glenn White. Three, fighter Jim, owned by Kimberly and Steve Cook. Blaine Chapel trains and drives. Number four, heart of a dragon. Owned and trained by Jim Marino, driver Scott Knight. Number five, Great Emotion. Owned by Michelle Danroth, Gary Shedlowski trains, Dennis Johnston driving. Six, Outlaw Electric Blue. Owned by the Outlaw Stable, Connie Coltammer trains and drives. And number seven, Is He Watching? Owned by Rod Terrace, Pat Jarvis, Gail Jewsbury. Rod Terrace trains and drives. Three minutes to post time. The post time at Fraser Downs, under two minutes.
Start a call for the horses to line up. Race number five, starting game moving. Full gate of seven, positively special, catch me gracefully. Fighter Jim, heart of a dragon, great emotion. Outlaw, electric blue, and is he watching? Into the back stretch, gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the fifth. As they come off the wings and head to the far turn, trying to fire it up early, there goes Fighter Jim down towards the inside, is positively special. Catch me gracefully is hung on the outside, a decision to be made. It's two lengths back now to Great Emotion, who races along in fourth. As they get set to sweep by us now for the first time, Fighter Jim and Catch me gracefully, angling up on the outside. Length and a half back, positively special. Two lengths for the back is Great Emotion, followed by Is He Watching? As they go under the line for the first time, then Heart of a Dragon, Trailer Outlaw, Electric Blue. As they go to the clubhouse turn, Fighter Jim, Catch Me Gracefully, has not cleared yet. Tough trip tonight. That opening quarter, 27 and three. To the half mile mark they go, and Fighter Jim and Catch Me Gracefully heads apart. Now moving up and moving quickly on the outside. Here comes Is He Watching, and will go three high. Positively special on the inside. Also into the outer flow is Great Emotion and Heart of a Dragon. Half, 57 flat. As they march towards the three-quarter mark, Fighter Jim on the inside. Catch me gracefully, hanging around. Is He Watching did not go by. Positively specials at the pylons. Then it's back to Great Emotion. Then we have Heart of a Dragon and Outlaw Electric Blue. Three quarters went up, 126 and three. As they turn for home, it is Fighter Jim with a short lead. Catch me gracefully is hanging around through the passing lane. Here comes Positively Special, and down the lane they come. Positively Special, Catch me gracefully far outside. Positively Special and Catch me gracefully right together. Great emotion, rallies up for third, I think in the Passing lane, heart of a dragon, maybe fourth, 158 and one. Photo sign will be posted, hold all tickets. In the photo, number one, positively special, is your race winner. Number two, catch me gracefully, second. Five, great emotion, third. Four, heart of a dragon, fourth. One, two, five, four. On the board, unofficial.
Into the winner's enclosure, the winner of race five, number one, Positively Special. She's owned by Leslie Godlin and Judy Knighton. Trained by Rick Lancaster. Winning driver, Dave Hudon. Positively Special, a four-year-old mare by Special Forces out of Positively Cam. The breeder out of South Dakota, Timothy Lems. Time in the board, 158 and 1. Life mark for the winner. Positively special. The result official. One to exactor was twelve ninety. The try forty five sixty. Twenty cent super twenty seven forty six. The big three three of three needed seventy seven fifty. Official placings, number one, positively special, your race winner. Number two, catch me gracefully, second. Number three, fighter Jim, fifth. Number four, heart of a dragon, was fourth. Number five, great emotion, third. Number six, outlaw electric blue, seventh. And number seven, is he watching, sixth. Reads down, one, two, five, four, three, seven, six on the bottom. Time for the mile, life mark for the winner, 158 and one. Race six, no changes. Kicks off our pick four.
Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs, race number six. Kicks off the pick four. Exactor try and superfect a wagering. Here's your field. Number one, Kootenai Coco, owned by Robert and Barbara Chadwick. Kyle Chadwick trains. Tyson Jacoby driving. Two, Tahuya Platinum, owned and trained by Eric Nyhart. Alan Malloy aboard. Three, You're Not Worth My Time, owned, trained, and driven by Kevin Anderson. Number four, Crown Princess. By the Sea Spray Stables Limited, Lord Abbott trains, John Abbott drives. Number five, Be on the Hunt, owned by Paul and Paul Sanders Sr., Blaine Babish, Jim Marino trains, Scott Knight drives. Six, She's Bodacious, owned and trained by Ashley Ederer, Kelly Hort to drive. Seven, Little Bit of Custard, owned by the West Coast Stable and Blair Smith. Marg White trains Blaine Chapel in the Sulky. Trailing eight hole belongs to Hearts of Racing, owned by Dr. Jim Finley, trained by Marg White. Dennis Johnston up. Three minutes to post time.
Tips are to call for the horses to line up. Race number six kicks off the pick four. Full field of eight. This field heads for the back stretch. Gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the sixth. Kootenai Coco from the pylons out for the early lead. Crown Princess gets away in second. Beyond the hunt, now driving it up on the outside. Two lengths back now is You're Not Worth My Time. It's a length for the back. Two hearts are racing. As they hit the turn, Beyond the Hunt wants the top and is trying to drive on. Kootenai Coco trying to keep her at bay. It's two lengths back now to Crown Princess. Opening quarter up in 27 flat. Through the stretch, beyond the hunt, Scott Knight will now try and cross and clear. Under the line, one lap to go. Beyond the hunt, Kootenai Coco sits in second. Crown Princess third. Big break of five to You're Not Worth My Time in fourth. As they go to the clubhouse turn, then it's Hearts are Racing, racing along in fifth. Into that turn they go. And beyond the hunt, shows away by a tight length. Kootenai Coco second by a length and a quarter. Crown Princess third by three. You're not worth my time in fourth. Hearts are racing is settled in the fifth. Gapped off two now is She's Bodacious. The two back markers are Tohuya Platinum and a little bit of Custard. Field getting well strung out. That half went up in 56 and four. To the far turn they go and be on the hunt. Tracking in second is the undefeated Kootenai Coco. It's three and a half lengths back to Crown Princess, uh, soon to be passed by Hearts Are Racing on the outside. Three quarters, 125. They've reached the top of the lane. They're homeward bound. And it is B on the hunt with the lead to Kootenai Coco, trying to drive it up on the outside, but B on the hunt will win it. Kootenai Coco finishes second. It's a long way back to She's Bodacious, and you're not worth my time in a picture. 153 and three. Unofficial winner, number five, Be On The Hunt. Number one, Kootenai Coco, second. There is a photo for third. Hold all tickets, five, one, and a photo.
Back to the winner's enclosure, the winner of race six, number five, Be On The Hunt. She's owned by Paul and Paul Sanders Sr., along with Blaine Babish. Jim Marino trains. The winning driver is Scott Knight. Be On The Hunt is a four-year-old mare by Huntsville out of Twin B Elite. The breeder out of New Jersey, Catherine Weed and M.K. Weed. A result is official. Buy one exact at two dollars eighty cents. The try nineteen fifty five. Superfect at twenty dollars thirteen cents. Official placings, number one, Kootenai Coco, second. Number two, Tuhuya Platinum, seventh. Number three, You're Not Worth My Time, fourth. Number four, Crown Princess, sixth. Number five, Beyond the Hunt, your race winner. Number six, She's Bodacious, was third. Seven, Little Bit of Custard, was eighth. And number eight, Hearts Are Racing, was fifth. Raids down, two, seven, four. Six, one, three. Eight, and five. Time for the mile. Life mark for the winner, 153 and three. Race seven, no changes.
The Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs, race number seven. Field of seven, exactor, try, super, and pick three wagering. Here's the field number one, Angels on the Horizon. Owned by Dr. Jim Finley and Kelly Hudon, Dave Hudon trains, John Abbott is driving. Number two, Forever Furley, owned by Kelly Hudon, Dave Hudon trains and drives. Three, Diva Amour, owned by Kelly Hort and Fred Gilbert. Kelly Hort trains and drives. Four, On the Road to Texas. Owned and trained by Kelly Hort, Scott Knight aboard. Five, Danzig to Dharma. Owned by Jerome Bouvier, Kathy Keogh, and Robert Diskin. Jerome Bouvier trains Tyson Jacoby up. Six, Stonebridge Jade. Owned by Rod Terrace, Ralph Terrace, Darren Edwards, and Colby Falster. Rod Terrace trains and drives. And the seven, Roland with Holly A. Owned and trained by Rod Terrace, Alan Malloy to drive with three minutes to post time. There are only two minutes left to place your wagers, said Fraser Downs.
start a call for the horses to line up. Starting gate, now moving. Race seven, full field of seven. It's Angels on the Horizon, Forever Furley, Diva Amour. On the road to Texas, Danzig to Dharma, Stonebridge Jade, rolling with Holly A on the outside. Fields into the back stretch, gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the seventh. Roland with Holly A from the far outside is trying to gun out of there, trying to keep her at bay. Angels on the horizon. Now settling into third as they hit the turn is Danzig to Dharma. Getting away in fourth is Diva Amour. Two and a half lengths for the back. Forever Furley on the road to Texas and Stonebridge Jade. Opening quarter in 26 and one. Roland with Holly A brings the field by us now with a length and a half lead. Two old trip for Angels on the horizon. Gapped off a little in third now is Danzig to Dharma. Two and a half for the back is Diva Amour. Two and a half to Forever Furley on the road to Texas and Stonebridge Jade. Into the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station and roll in with Holly A. Rolls along with the lead. Half up, 55 and one. 29 second quarter. As they march down the back stretch, it is rolling with Holly A still with the lead. To old trip, it's Angels on the horizon. Now Diva Amour has started her journey up on the outside of Danzig to Dharma. Two and a half for the back is Forever Furley. Then on the inside is on the road to Texas and Stonebridge Jade. Three quarters up, 124 and one. Another 29, third quarter. There midway on the turn, rolling with Holly A with the lead by three quarters of a length. Diva Amour trying to make a race of it. And as a turn for home, it is on the inside, rolling with Holly A. Diva Amour trying to get to her late. Rolling with Holly A. Here's Diva Amour, one last surge. And it will be six in a row, Diva Amour. Rolling with Holly A second, a group photo for third. 154 and four. Unofficial winner number three, Diva Amour. Second, seven, rolling with Holly A. Photo for third, hold all tickets. Three, seven, and a photo. In a photo for third, number six, Stonebridge Jade is third. Number two, Forever Furley is fourth. Three, seven, six, two, unofficial on the board. Back to the winner's enclosure, the winner of race seven, number three, Diva Amour.
She's owned by Kelly Hort and Fred Gilbert. Kelly Hort trains and drives. Six wins in a row for this four-year-old mare by Custard the Dragon out of Art Amour. The breeders out of Kelowna, the Surdale Farms Limited. The result is official. Three seven exact a seven seventy. 376 try 2170 20 cents super $21.26 Official placings number 1 Angels on the Horizon 7th number 2 Forever Furley 4th Number three, Diva Amour, your race winner. Number four, On the Road to Texas, fifth. Number five, Danzig to Dharma, sixth. Number six, Stonebridge Jade, third. Number seven, Rolling with Holly A, second. Reads down, seven, four, one. Five, six, three, two on the bottom. Time for the mile, 154 and four. And that is a life mark for the winner, Diva Amour. Race eight, scratch the seven. The nine does not draw in.
The Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs, race number eight. Exactor, Triactor, Superfecta, Super High Five Wagering, and Late Daily Double. Here's your field number one, Hottie on the Horizon, owned by Leslie Godlin, Rick Lancaster. Rick Lancaster trains with Dave Hutt on driving. Two is in High Cotton, owned by Kelly Hort and Blair and Erna Corbeil. Kelly Hort trains and drives. Three, Blue Grotto. Owned by Darren Edwards and Rod Terrace. Rod Terrace trains and drives. Four, Gray C. Owned by the Sea Spray Stables Limited, Gord Abbott trains and John Abbott drives. Five is Hang On Sloopy. Owned by Reg Wannenberg, Gail Brasingdon. Reg Wannenberg trains. Tyson Jacoby at the lines. Six is Hot Piece of Ace, owned by Jim Marino and Shelly Ng. Jim Marino trains, Scott Knight driving. Scratch the seven, and the eight salary, owned by Shelly Hasty. Trained by Paul Urquhart, with Blaine Chapel up. Three minutes to post time. Two minutes to post time at Fraser Downs. Under two minutes.
Started calls for the horses to line up. Race eight. Super high five wagering. Starting gate moving. Scratch the seven. The nine does not draw in. It's hottie on the horizon in high cotton and blue grotto. Gray C. Hang on, Sloopy. Hot piece of ace. Trailing eight hole is salary. Fields into the back stretch. Gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the eighth. Gracie trying to fire it up early. Hang on, Sloopy right there on the outside. Down towards the inside. Hottie on the horizon trying to get away in third. Driving it up from the outside now is Hot Piece of Ace. As they hit the turn, coming away with the lead now. It's Hang on, Sloopy. Leading it by a little over a length. Gracie in second from the outside. Hot piece of ace. Looks for a spot but hung in the early going. As they wheel by us, opening quarter. A lively 26 and 3. And hang on, Sloopy has the lead. Gracie second. Diving to the inside. Hot piece of ace. In high cotton. Hottie on the horizon. Blue Grotto starts it up on the outside. The trailer is salary. To the clubhouse turn they go as they head to the half mile station. And it's still hang on Sloopy for Tyson Jacoby over Gray C. Sitting in third is hot piece of ace. Half went up in 56 and two. As they wheel for the back stretch, it is hang on Sloopy with the lead. Gray C fighting her time in second. On the outside is Blue Grotto in third. At the pylons is hot piece of ace. On the outside is Salary in high cotton and Hottie on the horizon. Past three quarters now in one, 24, and four. And they're midway on the final turn. Hang on, Sloopy, trying to go all the way. Gracie now angles out for the drive. Three lengths back is Salary in high cotton, now sits fourth as they wheel for home. Gracie on the outside, hang on, Sloopy on the inside. Then it's back to Salary in high cotton as closing ground. Gracie, Gracie will just prevail. In high cotton second. Hang on, Sloopy third. Salary is fourth. Hottie on the horizon completes the super high five. 154 and four. Auto sign to be posted. Hold all tickets. In the photo, number four, Gray C, the unofficial winner. Number two, in high cotton, second. Number five, hang on, Sloopy, third. Number eight, salary, fourth. And number one, hottie on the horizon, fifth. Four, two, five, eight, and one. For the super high five.
Back to the winner's enclosure, the winner of race eight, number four, Gray C. She's owned by the Sea Spray Stables Limited, trained by Gord Abbott. The winning driver is John Abbott. For driver John Abbott, that's his third driving win this evening. Gracie, a five-year-old mare by Custard the Dragon, out of preference. The breeders are the owners of Sea Spray Stables. A result is official. For two exacta, eight fifty five. The try twenty six ninety five. Twenty cents super forty four twenty six. I five was one hundred forty eight eleven. Pick five. You do need five of five. Two hundred forty nine dollars and twenty cents. Official placings number one, Hottie on the Horizon, fifth, number two, in High Cotton, second, three, Blue Grotto was seventh, number four, Gray C, your race winner. Number five, Hang On Sloopy, third. Six, Hot Piece of Ace was sixth. Scratch, the seventh. Number eight, Salary was fourth. The nine did not draw in. Reads down five, two, seven. One, three, six. Scratch, four. Did not draw in on the bottom. Time for the mile, 154 and four. Race nine, scratch, the eight. At this time, just a reminder, live racing continues tomorrow evening on Good Friday. It's an evening card. First race, 7 p.m.
Hey, Pacers on the track, Fraser Downs for the nightcap. Here's your field, number one. Oh, look at me. Owned by Shelly Ng, trained by Jim Marino, John Abbott drives. Number two, don't rock the bow, baby. Owned by Ross Sharp with Blaine Chapel, training and driving. Three, J.K. Pure Gold, owned by Elise Robottom. Travis Tracy, trains and drives. Number four, living on adrenaline. Owned, trained and driven by Kevin Anderson. Five, Jet Juice. Owned by Michael Benham, trained by Travis Tracy, Alan Malloy in the Sulky. Six, Beach Mist. Owned by Kelly Hort and Gabriel Dumoulin. Kelly Hort trains and drives. And the seven, Bohemian Rhapsody. Owned by Kelly Hudon, Ross Rees, and the Main Line Stables. Dave Hudon trains and drives. Three minutes to post time. Exactor, Try, Super, and Super High Five wagering. There is no carryover on that super high five. Two minutes to post time to wager on Fraser Downs under two.
Starter called for the horses to line up. The starting gate now moving. Field heads for the box stretch. Gate picks up speed. And off and pacing in the finale. Three of them look for the top. It's oh look at me. Jet juice in between them. Trying to drive it up on the outside now. Here's Bohemian Rhapsody. And now looking for a hole is Beach Mist. As they hit the turn. Jet Juice from along the inside with a short lead. On the outside, Bohemian Rhapsody. Getting away in third is Oh Look At Me. Diving to the inside now is Beach Mist. 26 and three contested opening panel. And as a wheel bias now for the first time, it is Jet Juice with the lead. Bohemian Rhapsody pressing up on the outside. Oh Look At Me sits in third, Beach Mist is fourth. Don't Rock the Bow Baby is fifth. Living on Adrenaline is sixth. And the trailer, as they go to the clubhouse turn, don't rock the bow, baby. Into the turn they go as they head past the half mile station, 56 and one. To the back stretch they go, and it is Jet Juice with that lead. Oh, look at me, sits in second. Beach Mist is now third as Bohemian Rhapsody is losing ground. They're midway on the back stretch. And Jet Juice with the lead now by a tight length. Here's Beach Mist. Driving it up on the outside for Hort. On the inside, oh look at me is third. Gapped off two is Don't Rock the Bow Baby. Then is back to living on adrenaline. Midway on that final turn now, 125 and three, three quarters. With one move, Beach Mist has opened up by three. Taking second now is Oh Look at Me. And faltering is Jet Juice as they wheel for home. And down the lane they come. Beach Mist is clear by five. Beach Mist, don't oh look at me. Battle on for second, but Beach Mist wins it in the clear. Living on adrenaline up for second. Oh, look at me is third. Don't rock the ball, baby. Fourth, JK Pure Gold rescues fifth. And 156 and three. Top five finishers, unofficial winner, number six, Beach Mist. Second, number four, Living on Adrenaline. Third, number one, Oh Look at Me. Fourth, number two, Don't Rock the Bow Baby. Fifth was the three, JK Pure Gold. Six, four, one, two, three. Inquiry signed posted by the judges, as well as a driver's claim of foul. They are looking at the top of the stretch. We have a driver's claim of foul, two on four for alleged interference. Judges inquiry, drivers claim a foul, two against four, hold all tickets.
Back to the winner's enclosure, the winner of race nine, number six, Beach Mist. She's owned by Kelly Hort and Gabriel Dumoulin, trained by Kelly Hort. And the winning driver is Kelly Hort. That's three driving wins tonight for Kelly Hort. Beach Mist is a four-year-old mare by Mystician out of Dance with the Waves. The breeder out of Alberta, Nancy Tamblin. Please note there has been a placing after reviewing the videotape replay and they had a driver's claim of foul, two against four. The judges have placed number four, living on adrenaline, back to fifth for interfering with number two, don't rock the boat, baby, and number three, J.K. Pure Gold at the top of the stretch. We're seeing the pan shot here.
New order of finish will be six, one, two, three, and four. Once again, the four, living on adrenaline, did finish second, but placed fifth for interference to the two and the three at the top of the stretch. The result has now been declared official. Six, one, two, three, and four. The exactor was thirty one fifty. Try one fifty nine fifty five. Pick three was twenty nine ninety five. Pick four was twenty nine twenty two. Superfecta was one sixty seven. 56. Super high five, 871, 878. Eight seventy eight fifty one, And the late double was 1910. Official placings, number one, oh, look at me, was third, placed second. Number two, don't rock the bow, baby, fourth, placed third. Number three, J.K. Pierre Gold, fifth, placed fourth. Number four, living on adrenaline, second, placed fifth, for causing interference to the two and the three at the top of the stretch. Five, Jet Juice was sixth. Six, Beach Mist, your race winner. Seven, Bohemian Rhapsody was seventh, scratch the eight. Reads down 3P2. 4P3, 5P4, 2P5, 6, 1, 7, scratch on the bottom. Time for the mile 156 and 3. Claim in that ninth race. The winner, Beach Mist. Claimed by Michael Benham. Trainer, Travis Tracy. That'll wrap up our Thursday card here at Fraser Downs for tonight. Don't forget, live racing continues tomorrow evening. The Good Friday card, first race will be 7 p.m. Don't forget, when leaving, our gaming floor is open. Thank you for watching and wagering on Fraser Downs. Drive safely until tomorrow. Good night.
about your first race. Bring them along. The starting gate is rolling for race number one. Outstanding. 